Good evening and welcome back to the winning show. The show where we bring you winners every week. Men and women who by virtue of their fame and success have brought magic to their calling. Well, you can say that again, literally. For the person who will be with us this evening is a truly magical person who comes, yes, from my part of the world. That's Bengal, if you didn't know. For all those reviewers and critics who have described me as a magician again and again, from Mandrake to Gogia Pasha, here's sweet revenge. Here's a real magician, a seventh generation magician, PC Sarkar, son of PC Sarkar, the PC Sarkar, known as the greatest magician in the world. Born in 1946 in Tangail, now in Bangladesh. Pradeep Chandra Sarkar was a partition refugee with his parents when he was barely five months old. The family settled down in Calcutta, which has since been his home, though Sarkar travels around the world every year with his dazzling repertoire of tricks and ledger domain. There is nothing he has not attempted, from cycling through the busy streets of London blindfolded to making an entire train vanish before the eyes of hundreds of astonished viewers. He is now planning to make the Taj Mahal vanish and recreate the mystique of the Indian rope trick. And for viewers of this show, he has even created an exclusive item which we will show you later. How does it feel to be a magician in a world that is becoming increasingly and boringly materialistic and predictable? Let's ask him. Let's find out. <laughs> Pradeep Chandra Sarkar comes from a long family of magicians. Seven generations of Sarkars before him have pursued and enriched the art of abracadabra and today at 47 as he goes around the world showing off his rich repertoire of magical skills before millions of admirers, he keeps alive a tradition that is centuries old. His father, the original PC Sarkar, was also billed as the world's greatest magician, even though he lived in the era of the all-time greats. He could match every Houdini escapade, outsmart Gogia Pasha, and reproduce any magic trick that he saw anyone else do in a matter of seconds. The family migrated from Bangladesh during the partition. Young Sarkar was less than a year old when they came to Calcutta to start life afresh as refugees. His father borrowed some money to buy a small plot of marshland near Baligan station where he built a house. That is where Pradeep, his two brothers and two sisters grew up. After finishing school, Pradeep graduated in chemistry honours, for his father was keen that he should make a break with family tradition and not become a magician. But very soon the two began to argue over what was more important, science or magic. His father would always accuse him of being short-sighted and science-led. So, to challenge his father's perception of him, Pradeep went to college again, this time to graduate with applied psychology. In 1971, his father suddenly collapsed on stage during a performance in Japan. The young, untrained Pradeep picked up the baton to complete the show and launch his own career as a magician. I am here! Here! There was no time for the last rites. He carried on the tour while his younger brother went to Japan to bring back his father's body. Thank <laughs> you. 
how does it feel to exert this kind of magical power over thousands of people in the audience? I am born to be a magician and I don't have any other feeling. I love to be a magician and, you know, the things around, it is so magical. If I just wave my hand on it, <laughs> the colors change and things start happening. So I love to be a magician always. But doesn't it give you an enormous sense of power? The power, the energy, whatever you call, it comes from within because I am a magician. <laughs> Did you go to any formal teaching? My father taught me all the magic. But he, at the same time, he told me, magic can be taught, it is to be learned. So all the magic I learned, I learned from him, but he never taught me. <laughs> How did you learn? You know, when I was very young, I told my father, I want to become a magician, I want to see how you work. He said, the first thing you have to do, study first. Go back to studies, and I'll let you know when you are to come to the world of magic. But honestly, I didn't like it. So uh, there was a sky, uh, sky hall in the room where my father uh, used to rehearse. On the adjoining room, my study room was there. So I climbed up the Almera, sat on the Almera and peeped through the window. And I used to watch what my father doing. And that's how I learned. And the instructions he gave to his other assistants, I religiously followed everything. And when my father used to go out, I entered the room and used to copy the things he did. And he instructed his assistants? Not the assistants, imaginary assistants that I had. <laughs> and I used to imagine that I've got thousands of people sitting in front of me, watching me, lights are on, though the room was dark. <laughs> and I had to deliver lectures, show them fabulous tricks, though I had no instrument at all. And the things my father left in the room, I used to use those things. And I used to spend my afternoons like that for years.